this segment presented by Bravo Company USA. All right, fans, I'm out here with Sergeant First Class Bill, who happens to be the senior instructor on the heavy weapons side of the house of the 18 Bravo Committee. Thanks for having us out, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. All right, Bill, if you don't mind, take us through this. I personally don't have any time behind this one. Well, you're in luck today, Larry. You're gonna get some personal time with this weapon system. Excellent. Here we have a soft specific grenade launcher. It's used by everybody from Rangers to Green Berets to SEALs. MARSOC is using them now. Uh, this is basically a six shot rotating cylinder grenade launcher. Think of it like a regular revolver, but it makes a bigger boom. Mm -hmm. One, you can put rounds out very accurately with this weapon system. You can pretty much cover an area five meters wide by 15 meters deep in under five seconds with all six shots. Um, it comes incorporated with a day and night sight optic. Now, you, you have to manually adjust the range. So once you range to the target, you set it with the optic. Yep, what happens is you're gonna do your own little self uh, range estimate. Go ahead and index this optic to that range. You're gonna rotate that barrel until your sight is on your target and you're gonna launch some rounds out. Good deal, and you said that is day and night capable? Yes, yes, it has a day and night sight graduated in 25 meter increments. So even if you have to make small adjustments, you're not really having to go through the whole range adjustment process. Again, it's just minor adjustments with the sight. With these grenade systems, Larry, they're very simple to operate. Um, the one thing that is kind of a downfall is you have to manually uh, activate the cylinder. So what you're gonna go ahead and do, is you're gonna go ahead, release your rear assembly attachment, pop your backside open. You have to manually charge these cylinders. So you have to reach in there, rotate the cylinders all the way to activate the spring tension inside the cylinder. So when you begin to fire, this thing's gonna rotate to the next chamber all by itself. Go ahead, load your rounds in it. Just close your back plate. Keep your weapon pointed down range, apply your range estimate, and just put your sight on your target and you're ready to fire. And I see you you can adjust the stock to optimize for longer distance or whatnot yes. in terms of how it's mounted. Yes, the stock is adjustable for closer ranges instead of having to arc your back, you know, just straight on shot. Or for farther ranges, go ahead and activate your stock. Adds a little more elevation to the front of your gun. Uh, one of the other cooler functions is the speed at which the rounds, the spent casings can be removed from this weapon system. So the same latch that you use to open up the back uh, of your weapon system, you're just gonna go ahead and push that in and the star pattern's gonna push out the old spent casings. How long have you guys had this in service? Uh, I know 2009 is when we started getting them fielded mass in Afghanistan. So I'd say around 2008, 2009 is really when it was being pushed out. I've heard some good things about it. Oh, it's a great system. Uh, again, a little bit bulkier, but you know what? Instead of going from, say, six rounds a minute, you have 18 to 21 rounds a minute of firing with this. Excellent, brother. Can't wait to fire that bad boy Well, it's up. a good time. Hey, I was glad I had a chance today to get behind the Milcor multiple shot grenade launcher. Basically like shooting a 40 millimeter revolver that's shoulder fired. A few things about it, the rapid fire capability, six shots, being able to launch it down range in a very short period of time is a major plus. One thing, you gotta know your loading procedure. I figured that out real quick. Unloading the gun, clearing it, and then making sure you reset the revolver cylinder by hand correctly is critical with that weapon system. Overall, pretty slick. Talked to some old special operation guys I know, and they love the weapon system. It's been very effective overseas. It's another thing that you see in the special operations arsenal. It's not necessarily ideal across the board, but there are certain applications it does very, very well.